And that's the time Bob Anderson began work every day. We could depend on him to be on time and to do his work on time. You might call him an eager beaver. But look at it from the employer's point of view. Wouldn't you like to have Bob working for you? Dependability is one of the main keys to keeping a job and getting ahead. Now, dependability includes a willingness to work. Some of the work in our shipping room is hard work. That's why we've always had two fellows working there. Well, two fellows who were supposed to be working. The other fellow I want to tell you about is Walter, Bob's brother, Bob's twin brother. But the resemblance is only skin deep. Look at Walter from the employer's point of view, and you see how not to keep a job. Look at him from Bob's point of view, and you see how not to get along with your fellow workers. On the other hand, Bob would be popular wherever he worked. You know he would do his share of the work and help others who needed help. Cooperation is another way to keep a job. Walter finally decides to go to work, but a job he was supposed to do first thing. Actually, he was supposed to run them off the evening before, but he put it off. This is how not to be dependable, how not to cooperate with the company and with your fellow workers in your own and other departments. Poor Walter. Who should come into the shipping room but me? The boss always seems to find out. Walter's manner gave him away. Now, it isn't hard to learn to make good, clean copies on a duplicating machine. And this wasn't the first time I'd had to criticize Walter for making poor copies. And it wasn't the first time he tried to alibi his way out of a situation. The fact was, Walter just couldn't take criticism. Yet how can a man expect to improve on a job if he won't listen to the very people who can help him? <laughs> 